Well, I think, you know, geneticists have, um, have had this reductionist view of living organisms since, since the beginning, and they've, they've used the metaphor of code as if, you know, you can just snip a bit out and rearrange things, and uh, it's going to operate differently, like a, like a machine. And certainly, I think geneticists can tinker with life, and they do. That's exactly what they do. Um, and the technologies have become even more deadly, more dangerous, more unpredictable. It always has been. Um, but now I think some of the newer technologies are even more frightening in terms of the power that, um, that, uh, that they can uh, do to living organisms and how far and wide those impacts can affect species, environments, and so on. So, but you know, I think that's a really false metaphor to think that living organisms are machines, that they have a fixed code. You know, life has always been dynamic. Um, n nothing has ever been static, and living organisms have spirit. And so there's, there's no such thing as a static, <laughs> you know, living organism. It's, um, it's alive. It interacts with the environment. It responds to changes in the environment. It responds to light and water, um, to, to, to other, other species. So there is always this dynamism in, in nature. And, um, to think that one can control that or even has a right to try to control nature or parts of nature um, is really misguided because nature exists in its own right.